hit it! Next, I'll just light the fuse and boom! Well, that should be it. Stand by, Wenzel. Ah! Hello, Rufus. Tony, why are you sneaking around like that? This is still my house, remember? Well, it's not as obvious now since someone stole my mailbox. Oh, that reminds me. I'm supposed to give you this letter. A letter? Rufus, it's almost time. Yes, I know. Sorry, Tony, but it's over. Once the fuse is lit, I'll be gone for good. If only that was true. Why are you here? Are you still hoping for a miracle? It would be a miracle if you finally disappeared for real. But in case it doesn't work out again, I'll at least have the satisfaction of seeing you injure yourself. This is the final goodbye. It's too early to jump for joy, I fear. I bet now you're sorry about some of the things you said. That's right. Starting with, you can stay with me. I'm leaving. For good. I gave up hope of that a long time ago. This will be the most spectacular departure ever. I better not touch this again. It's all set up and ready to go. Hey, Wenzel. What's up? I'll go back to... You better you have it. There's nothing you can say to prevent me from going. What a stroke of luck. That means I can't say anything wrong. No, it's too late. You can beg all you want, but I won't take you along with me. Can I have that in writing? I'm out of here. The sooner the better. Now is when it counts. Hullabaloo. Ah, well, maybe I should read the letter. Dear Mr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're happy to inform you, blah, blah, blah. Get to the point, will ya? Unfortunately, the delivery of your screws will be delayed for... Please find enclosed a voucher for a pack of rivets. We apologize for any inconvenience this might have caused. Sincerely yours. Just a second. Screws? My suitcase is here, too. It must have got entangled in the chain. <laughs> Just like I planned. Yeah. 
I'm getting dirt between my teeth already. Ugh, I'd better leave it closed for now. It already has plenty of oil stains. Ouch! The wire's cutting into my flesh! I need, uh, well, something like, uh, uh, um, has anyone here got a bolt cutter? I'll never be able to open it. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Not a chance. I'd need fingers like Wenzel's to reach into those cracks. I'll save my telekin... Mm. The colors must have something to do with the conveyor belts. I'll save my t I'll save my what? Hey, aggressive little bugger. Yeah, as long as it's active, I'll never be able to grab it. A well-oiled gearbox. Not a chance. I need fingers like when... already has not a chance I bust my butt to <laughs> hey aggressive little bug is removing the nuts from the gearbox. Well, look at those shiny little teeth. Ugh, the arm... I guess someone has the... Ouch! I'm not getting it. I need a bolt. Save my telekinetic. There's a flood ship. As long as the hatch is closed, I can't put a sock.
I've got a foot in the door, so to speak. I'll save my telekinetic powers. This is unbelievable. This is just impossible. I think I'm getting dizzy. Are you suffering from vertigo, Ms. Gold? You should have stayed in your cabin. It was foolish of you to go against my orders. What? What's going on here, Bailiff? Did you know about all this? Just a minute. All of you knew about this, right? The whole Organon is involved in this? Did you really think you could just keep it a secret? Wait until Cletus hears about this. But you won't be telling him anything about it. You will be a good girl and wait here until the Prime Controller arrives. And then? What then? I am an Elysian, not one of his office clerks. How does he plan to assure my silence? Just you wait, Ms. Gold. I don't want to ruin the surprise. Holy smoke! A real Orbit Pixie! I bet you'll be pretty thankful once I've rescued her from the clutches of the Dark Exchequer. Let's go! Rufus to the rescue! Take that! No, don't! Ah! What's that? Ah! Oops, guess that was the wrong lever. You damned fool! How dare you mess with the plans of the Organon! Men, throw him overboard! <laughs> you need to catch me first, but I'm much too fast for you, see? First I'm here, and now I'm gone. Here, gone. So close, but no, the minute I see a beautiful well, I guess that's just who I am. I'm simply a die-hard do-gooder. Ah, Miss Hinkle lost her dachshund. Well, I'm sure it'll turn out. I mean, there wasn't much kerosene in the turbine after all. Toro! Hey, I said Toro! <laughs> if anything, he seems even more bored now. You have to be age six or older to use this device. Oh, how boring is that? Toro! Hey! <laughs> Great. The rust bucket's dead, but the lock is still working. What's going on here? I haven't seen such a crowd in front of the town hall since, well, since... Since the mayor wanted to introduce a tax on the lack of political commitment. Hello, Hannock. Oh, hey, uh... Rufus? Exactly. Uh, talk to... See you, uh... Rufus? Exactly. Hello? Hello, hello! Ah, I'm starving! I've eaten nothing but worms for days now! Ignore him. 
My wife sometimes talks to herself when she's down there. He must have picked that up from her. We can't meet anymore. <coughs> Although my husband is almost deaf, his bird has quite good ears. <coughs> Thought you're on your way to Elysium. Have you come back to pay your tab? Oh, that. Oh, well, listen, Lonzo. I, uh, I plan to do that, but constructing an escape vehicle costs a lot. And, uh... <laughs>